What is going on guys, this is Sam, we are bringing you another video, and today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a very own face cam overlay, or border, whatever you want to call it, um, to add like some cool, like, to make your face cam video look cool. As you see, my videos have like a little blue, blue colorish, um, overlay over the face cam video so the first thing you have to do is you have to download paint.net there will be a link in the description to download paint.net so once you have download paint.net go to file go to new and then for the width you can put 1920 or 1280 i render my videos at 720p so i have to put 1280 for the width and then for the height i have to put 720 if you render your videos at, at 1080p uh for the width put 1920 and then for the height put 1080 then leave everything else alone put okay you zoom it out a little bit so you can have some more some space and then once you think you have enough space um select the magic wand left click it press delete and there you go you have a transparent background the next thing you want to do is you want to select the rectangle select and it's going to show up like this like normal on this setting right here you want to select it until you see fixed size and then for the width put 480 and then for the height put 270. It's going to show up as inches, put it as pixels and then just um, left click it and then just drag it where you want it to be. I want it to be on the right top corner and then I want it to be like around right there and then um, create a new layer. Go to the shapes, um, shapes tool right here. Select the rounded rectangle or the rectangle, which, whichever you want. Leave this alone. The brush width, you can be creative with that. Leave the style alone and leave the fill color alone. Then you want to make it, you want to make the shape, but you want to make it as perfect as this square. And try to make it as even too. Like around right there is cool. When you think it's uh, pretty good, just press enter. And there you go. You have your face cam overlay or border, whatever you call it. So then you want to make it look cool because you want a plain color on it. To make it look cool, just select the, the, the magic wand, left click it, there you go, you've selected the whole the whole border. Next thing you want to do is you want to add some gradient to it, you want to make it look cool. So um, choose your colors, for the primary I want it to be blue, and then for secondary I want it to be this kind of blue. So then you just want to make add some like, cool effects to it, make it like be, crea be as creative as possible. So look around around uh right there is good press enter once you think it's good just press enter and there you go we have a solid color whatever color you chose then you want to make it look pretty sick as you do my video as i do in my videos I have like a little drop shadow to it or a, like a little fade or some sort of thing just go to effects Then go to object. Um, this is a plugin, so there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to download this kind of plugin. So go check those videos out. Just put how to download a plugin, like effects plugin for Paint.net. So once you download the plugin, just go to object and go to drop shadow, and then um, choose like the settings you want. I want this kind of settings. I made I made it black, and the blur radius is 10, and the white right widening radius is 10. The shadow capacity is 255. Just try to be as creative as possible, whatever fits your style. So then, once you're done, just press OK. And then some people want to add some like their name to it. To add their name to it, just create a new layer. Go to, to the text a tool. Choose your font and choose your font size. My font size is going to be 24, and my font is going to be Obelix Pro. Choose your um color, your like your the colors you want, and then choose. Once you choose the colors, just um like write your name. My name is Simple Three Gaming. So let me type Simple Three Gaming as you see right there, and then try to center it as center as possible because there's like no tools that you can center it in this kind of in this um program. So I think around right there, center. So once you think it's centered, just select the the move selected pixel so you can like stop typing. Then go to magic wand, uh, shift and left click it, and you select the whole text. Then add some like cool effects to it as you did in the overlay. I'm being white and light gray, that looks pretty sick for a text. 
around uh like once you think you have done your creating like you feel like it's pretty sick just press enter and there you go you add your name and then you want to make it like pop out so just go to effects and then up here it's gonna say repeat your drop shadow you did last time with your face and overlay just press it oops 10 percent and there you go you have your name you have your face cam overlay so i hope this tutorial helped you out guys please make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll catch you guys next time peace i forgot and if you don't know how to how to save it just go to file go to save as put um file name put anything you want and then save as type if you want to make it like editable just put paint.net and if you want to make it like you can put it on your video and stuff like that, Sony Vector, Camtasia, just put PNG, then put save. And I already saved this, so just put, this is not going to show up, so for me, I'm just going to put yes. And then just put auto detect, you can see how it's going to look. How it's going to look, as you see there, it looks pretty cool, just press OK. And there you go.